Welcome to today's episode of the Tafra channel. Imagine a man, a soldier still fighting a war that ended decades ago. This is the tale of Lieutenant Hiru Onoda. Born on a chilly day in March 1922, in the coastal town of Kainan, Japan, Hiru Onoda was a child of the sea and the mountains. His mother's lullabies were the whispers of the ocean, and his playground was the rugged, mountainous landscape of his hometown. As a young boy, he dreamt of adventures, little knowing how his dreams would manifest in years to come. As he grew, so did his sense of duty to his homeland. On his 18th birthday, he enlisted in the Imperial Japanese Army, a move that would set the course of his life into an extraordinary direction. His years in the Army were marked by rigorous training, transforming him from a naive young man to a skilled intelligence officer. He learned the art of guerrilla warfare, survival tactics, and above all, the code of never surrendering to the enemy. In December 1944, with the echoes of war still reverberating, Lieutenant Onoda was deployed to Lubang Island in the Philippines. His mission was clear. He was to hamper enemy attacks on the island, disrupt their supplies, and gather intelligence. He was prepared for the battles ahead, but not for the long, lonely years that would follow. As he ventured deeper into the jungles of Lubang, he became the unseen ghost of the island, fighting an enemy that was no longer there. His existence was shrouded in the shadows, his presence felt only in the whispers of the wind. Days turned into weeks, weeks into months, and months into years. But Onoda, the unyielding soldier, stood his ground, his resolve unbroken. As the world moved forward, one man was left behind in the jungles of Lubang. Unbeknownst to him, the war was over. And so, the tale of Lieutenant Hiru Onoda begins. A tale of courage, resilience, and a war that for him, never really ended. From 1945, the world believed World War II was over, but not Lieutenant Onoda. As the rest of the globe began to heal and rebuild, this unyielding soldier and his small band of comrades found themselves in a unique predicament, trapped in a time warp on Lubang Island. Living off the land became their new reality, their survival hinging on their ability to adapt and endure. They hunted for food, foraged for edible plants, and relied on the skills they had learned as soldiers to navigate through the dense jungle. In the dead of night, they would carry out guerrilla activities, sabotaging enemy efforts in a war that had long since ended. To them, each successful mission was a victory, a step towards an end they never saw coming. As time passed, leaflets were dropped from the sky, messages from home telling them that the war was over. Radios crackled with the voices of loved ones pleading for their return. Flyers with pictures of their younger selves, now aged and weathered by time, were scattered across the island. But all these attempts were met with suspicion and dismissed as enemy propaganda. They believed with unwavering conviction that their homeland would never surrender, that Japan was still at war. The idea that they were fighting a non-existent enemy seemed far-fetched, a ruse crafted by the enemy to lure them out of hiding. It was this belief, this unwavering dedication, that kept them in the jungle, living a life unchanged for nearly three decades. For Lieutenant Hiru Onoda, the world beyond the jungle ceased to exist. The modern advancements, the rise and fall of nations, the changing face of the world, all remained unknown to him. All he knew was the war, the mission, and the sense of duty that kept him going. In the heart of the jungle, time stood still for Lieutenant Onoda. The war was still his reality. His story is a testament to the human spirit, its resilience, and the lengths it will go to survive and stay loyal to a cause. In 1974, a young explorer, Norio Suzuki, made an extraordinary discovery. Among the dense, untamed foliage of Lubang Island, Suzuki stumbled upon a living relic of a forgotten era. Lieutenant Hiru Onoda, a ghost from a war long past, Onoda had been hiding in the jungles of the Philippines, still vehemently committed to his mission, refusing to believe the Second World War had ended. Suzuki, a man of courage and curiosity, approached the situation with tact and patience. He engaged with Onoda, trying to persuade him that the war had indeed ended. But Onoda, ever the disciplined soldier, remained skeptical. He had been trained to distrust and question, and so he did. This was, after all, a man who had outlasted the years, the elements, and the loneliness, all in the name of duty. Over time, the two formed a unique bond. Suzuki became a regular visitor, bringing news and artifacts from the outside world, hoping to coax Onoda back into the present. Yet Onoda remained steadfast in his conviction. He would not surrender, not even to time itself, 
without an official order from his commanding officer. So, Suzuki returned to Japan, armed with a mission. He sought out Onoda's former commanding officer, Major Yoshimi Taniguchi. He pleaded with the Major to help bring an end to Onoda's long-held belief that the war was still ongoing. Major Taniguchi, now a bookseller, was moved by Onoda's unwavering loyalty. He agreed to journey back to Lubang Island with Suzuki, bringing with him documented proof of Japan's surrender and a personal plea for Onoda to lay down his arms. The reunion was fraught with tension and disbelief. Here stood a soldier, still ready to fight a war that had ended nearly three decades prior, and there stood his commanding officer, a man of peace, pleading for him to accept the truth. With only his former commanding officer's word, Onoda was finally convinced to lay down his arms. And so, the unyielding soldier's solitary war finally came to an end. It was a return, reluctant yet poignant, to a world that had moved on without him. Returning home after 30 years, Onoda's world had transformed. He found himself in a Japan he barely recognized, with skyscrapers piercing the sky where once stood traditional homes. The public was in awe, some even in disbelief, as the man from a bygone era stepped foot on home soil. Adjusting to post-war life was a battle of its own for Onoda. The pace was different, the values had shifted, yet he remained unyielding as steadfast as the soldier he once was. He sought solace overseas moving to Brazil, where he spent years tending to cattle on a ranch. In his later years, Onoda found his calling back in Japan, running a nature camp for kids. He shared his survival skills, his respect for nature, and above all, his indomitable spirit. He taught them to be resilient, to be unwavering in the face of adversity. Lieutenant Hiru Onoda, the last soldier of World War II, passed away in 2014, leaving behind a legacy of resilience and unyielding spirit. you found this episode helpful, if it inspired you, or gave you a new perspective, then make sure you subscribe to our channel. Give this video a like, share it with your friends, and stay tuned for more episodes. Your engagement really helps us to keep creating content that can inspire and empower you. And as we conclude this episode, let's not forget the power of prayer. Let's pray for the strength to find our passion, the courage to pursue it, and the perseverance to overcome the suffering that comes with it. I hope you found this episode helpful, stay tuned for more. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give it a like because it really helps.